Hey guys. Well, I hope everyone had a wonderful Christmas, and I want to wish everyone a happy new year. 2018 was a great year. I want to thank all of my viewers, subscribers, for supporting me and appreciating the content that I put out on YouTube. Thank you all so much. I look forward to uh, hopefully continuing that in 2019, posting great content as I continue with my linear conversion. It's been kind of on pause for the last month or so. I've had a lot of things going on, but I hope to get back onto that soon. In today's video, I've got something interesting I want to show you guys. I had a longtime subscriber, Robert, contact me a few weeks ago about CNC broaching. Now, if you guys remember, about a year and a half ago, I was doing my belt drive conversion and I needed to broach the pulleys for uh, the motor. So I put out this broaching video. I made this uh, simple keyway broach and hand wrote the code to broach the pulleys. It wasn't very efficient the way I wrote the code. I did a lot of copy and pasting and hand editing. That was great for what I had to do because I was only broaching one size keyway and there were no variables involved. Now Robert caught a fellow YouTuber, Plow42, and he posted a video about the same time about a month ago on broaching keyways and he created this keyway g-code so Robert asked if I could somehow incorporate cloud 42's g-code into some type of macro so that instead of having to punch in these numbers you could just punch these variables into a DRO and it would spit out the correct g-code well I wasn't quite sure how to go about doing this at first but I found that a simple Mach 3 wizard should do the trick so I built a Mach 3 wizard and it's available for download at a Dropbox link in the video description simply go to the Dropbox link in the video description and download the Mach 3 CNC broaching wizard. Once you do that, you can run the wizard, agree to the end user license agreement. This just says that you have permission free of charge to use and share this wizard. It's going to install the file into C drive Mach 3 add-ons keyway broaching click next it will install it that's it we can finish that up so now we have our Mach 3 wizard installed we can go back to Mach 3 reopen it go up to wizards pick wizards scroll down a bit and you'll see keyway broaching CNC broaching you'll see my website here click on this select run and here is the CNC broaching Mach 3 wizard that I came up with now there are quite a bit of variables here that we can put in and these are the variables that cloud 42 James had in his G code so we have parameter 1, which is our key width. We'll just simply enter this into the DRO. Parameter number 2 is our keyway depth. <clears throat> this is right here. This is 0 0.110. Our shaft diameter, which is 19 millimeters, 0 0.748. Our cutter width. The width of our brooch here is 0.123. Uh, the length from the center line of the tool to the end, 0 0.406. Uh, the top of the stroke here, 0 0.100. This is where we want to start cutting. And then the bottom of the stroke, minus 1.70. And then we have our depth of cut per stroke. This is how much we want to take uh, per pass. Uh, we have this set for two thousandths. 
And then we need some spring compensation for the X direction as well as the Y. Uh, for the X we have a thousandths and for the Y spring two thousandths. And then our plunge feed rate, 75 inches per minute. He goes into pretty good detail in his video on how all of these numbers are calculated. Now once we have all of our parameters inputted here, we can take a look at the G-code. So our Y starting position here, so we're going to move X0 to the center. Uh, the zero of this particular part will be the shaft zero here, the center of the pulley. So we're going to move X to the zero position and then back Y to the starting position. Move Z to the top of the stroke and then we're going to start our can cycle. About 65 strokes. So we're going to jump down to our subroutine. Uh, here we're calling our subroutine subroutine number two. So we're going to drop down to subroutine number two. We're going to move Y to our starting position. We're going to move X to the right side here plus some X spring here. So plus a thousand. We're going to plunge, retract. Then we're going to move to the other side over here, plunge and retract. And then we're going to repeat. We're going to increment our starting position by our cut depth two thousandths and then we're going to simply repeat and we're going to do this 65 times that's pretty much it uh, I added a few parameters that James did not have in his original uh, G code and that's just stuff that you may need of course once you put all your parameters in here you want to save your file uh, we have our tool number we have whether we are in metric or in standard so whatever dimensions you put in here are they metric or standard in this particular case they are standard and then whether or not you want to run coolant if you want to run coolant which I prefer turn this on and it will output uh, the M8 to turn on your coolant into the G code now once you have all your parameters in here uh, you can simply just post your g-code a couple of things I want to point out if your cutter length from your center line here is greater than your shaft diameter when you go to post your code you'll get this error there are also some other built-in errors that will happen if your cutter depth is not greater than your cutter your keyway depth you will also get an error. Of course, if your cutter width is greater than your keyway width, well, you obviously can't broach the right size keyway. So you will also get an error for that. However, I'm sure that I have not took into consideration all the possible problems you could have with your variables that you input into your DROs here. So please, do some dry air tests before you run the code. Uh, make sure that everything looks good before you run your code. If you do see some something that I need to add as far as an error so that you don't make the mistake and accidentally put in a measurement that's not going to work, uh, please email me and I will try to edit this wizard. So after we get all our parameters in there, we can post our G-code. If you if you need any help or a brief description of what's going on, you can click on this help here and let you know a little bit of what's going on here. But now that we have everything in here, we can just simply post our G code. And now we have it in Mach 3 and we can click on edit over here and we can take a look at our G code. So this is a lot easier than the way that I originally did my broaching of my pulleys. Uh, it was a lot more hectic having to copy and paste all of each stroke. Uh, in order to achieve the correct depth much simpler way so thanks James for posting your video and I want to thank Robert for contacting me to see if I could uh, somehow incorporate this into Mach 3 so we can see that we are in inch mode here we have our G43 for our tool height offsets 
Uh, we're defining a couple of parameters. Our starting position, number 200, and this is our step increment or our depth of coat for each stroke. So we have an M6 T8. Uh, if so, we can get our tool change. You want to be careful here because uh, you're not going to be running the spindle. You could omit this line, but I put it in there um, just as a reminder for you to change your tool. Uh, we're going to turn on our coolant. We're going to turn off our spindle. We're going to move X to the zero position and the starting position, which is 0 0.0511. Uh, Z to our stroke starting position. And then we're going to start our can cycle. Uh, we're going to be running our subroutine number two, 65.55 times. So we're going to execute this line of code. We're going to drop down to here. We're going to move to our Y to our starting position, X to 0575. We're going to go down at 75 inches per minute, 1.7 inches. We're going to come back up to the top. We're going to move over to the other side and repeat. We're going to increment our starting position by two thousandths and then repeat 65 times. Pretty simple and straightforward. And this is how it looks. So let's just run this code real quickly. So we're going to move over. We're going to stroke. We're going to move to the other side stroke. We're going to increment our Y here. Repeat. Increment our Y again. Repeat. And we'll just keep doing this until we get to our finished depth up here. Well, we finished up simulating broaching our keyway in Mach 3. You can see it took about a little less than eight minutes. Not too bad. I want to thank Robert for contacting me and James for producing the keyway code so that I could create this wizard. Guys, if you're interested in this CNC broaching keyway wizard, I'll post a link in the video description. It's free to download from the Dropbox link. Hopefully you'll find this uh, useful. Stop by and visit Cloud42 on YouTube or at his website. Uh, you can check out his videos on this keyway code as well as he has a great video on how to uh, make a brooch in order to use this wizard. All right, well, I guess that wraps up this video. Hopefully you'll find this wizard useful in your projects. As always, feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, and leave comments. Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel, and most importantly, be safe.